Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grid Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, I am reviewing the Go Outfitters Go Camping Hammock, which includes the integrated bug net. Let's set it up and take a look at it now. So folks, here is the Go Outfitters Go Camping Hammock. And as you can see here, it has the integrated bug mesh to keep away the mosquitoes. Obviously, this thing is huge. This is a very, very large size hammock. It's also very strong. It could support up to 400 pounds. When it comes to the materials, this is a 70D nylon, which is very strong, very burly. Also, the nylon is so tightly woven that mosquitoes cannot pierce the bottom of the hammock to get to you. As you can see here, this is the forest green version. There is also a gray version and a black version. When it comes to the measurements, this is 11 feet long and 64 inches wide. It is absolutely huge. There's a reason why this hammock is so large and that translates to comfort. More on that in just a minute. Here on the front, you have a two-way zipper that goes alongside the body of the hammock. And this is your entrance to the hammock, which is ample. Anyone, no matter what size you are, will easily be able to get inside and out of this hammock. With the bug mesh, this is integrated, so you cannot remove it. But in the colder months, you could flip this over and use the hammock without the net being on you. That is a really cool feature. Now, I will go ahead, hop inside. Oh my gosh, this thing is so incredibly big. It's so spacious that you really can sleep in this any way that you want to. You could sleep like a banana, you could sleep on your side, you could sleep at a diagonal and be almost completely flat. It's amazing. Now, as you can see here on the mesh, you have one pocket, you have two pockets. You do have the ridge line, which is integrated into the hammock, which really is a cool feature because as soon as you set this up, the ridge line is taken care of for you, so you're ready to go. You can put some clothes up there, you can put a light up there, have things drying, whatever you want to do. Now, since this hammock is so big, it really can fit anyone and everyone, even big guys like you and me. I have been testing this hammock out for a very long time, and guys, I'm so incredibly impressed with it. It really has performed well for me, even though I'm not the biggest hammock camper in the entire world. I do like hammocks. They're not my favorite shelter of all time, like for some people. That's just my, my opinion, my perspective. But as far as hammocks go, this one has some really unique features, which I think will impress a lot of people. You can lay in this thing any way that you want to. You really can. I mean, you can even sleep on your side. You could throw your mat in here. Uh, a friend of mine, I let him borrow it, and he would keep his pack inside of this as well. So it's very impressive for many reasons. Another really cool feature to this hammock is that you can literally set it up in five minutes or less, especially once you get used to it. The cinch suspension system, that's almost a tongue twister right there, which is an additional fee, is amazing. I really, really like it. Let me show it to you now. All right, guys, check this out. This is neat. So you can see this strap right here, and this is made by Go Outfitters. Now, hopefully you can see this. The brake strength on this is 3,000 pounds. One inch thick. It's incredibly burly, incredibly strong. And also, it is 15 feet long. So this strap goes right here to this. And this is part of the cinch suspension system. That is 1 8 inch AM steel, which is extremely strong. Also, it's extremely easy to throw this up, to adjust it, and then hop in and go to sleep. So right here is the cinch system. It's really, really cool. It's very simple, but really effective at the same time. So you can see there that this piece of metal just basically cinches down over the strap, holding it into place. Let me show you how this works. You take your strap and you pull it through, get your basic adjustment. Then you slide in the rest of the strap through the bottom and there you go. And just like that, you can cinch it up to the point that you need it. <laughs> and now you're ready to go. It really is simple. So folks, let me go ahead and show you again from a distance just how easy it is to do this. So you take your strap, slide it through the top. Slide it through the bottom. And then cinch it up. It's so simple. 
and there you go. Just like that, your hammock is off the ground, the perfect amount of tension, and then you can elevate it any way that you need to. It's very, very simple. And like I said, you can really throw up a hammock in five minutes or less with the right amount of practice. Now to assist with keeping the material off of your face, as you can see here, you have a tie off point and you have another one down there. This is shock cord, you have the hook, you have a couple of stakes, and that pulls the material out. That way it's not laying right on top of you. These hooks, the shock cord, and the four stakes are included with the Go hammock. Now folks, typically in my reviews, I would talk about weight right about now, but let's just go ahead and move to price and then we'll come back to weight. You'll see why in just a second. Now, when it comes to the cost of this hammock, just the hammock alone, this runs $100. If you want to throw in the straps and the cinch system, that's an additional $30. The entire kit, $130. If you don't purchase the cinch system, what this comes with essentially is rope at the ends with carabiners. So yeah, it's still functional. You can use your own straps, so on and so forth. You know how it goes. Now, when it comes to weight, let's break this down. And I have my piece of paper here because there's so many different numbers. Now, when it comes to the weight of the hammock, including the tensioner straps and the cinch system, you are looking at 58.9 ounces. So yes, that is somewhat heavy. Now, for just the suspension system, that is 14.8 ounces. For the hammock with the stakes and the tensioning system, that is 44.2 ounces. No matter how you spin it, this is a heavy hammock, there's no doubt about that. But also, with it being heavy, it means that it's also extremely large. So large, in fact, that you can lay any way that you want to in this. You can sleep on your side, you sleep diagonally, banana, whatever you want to, you can make it happen in this hammock. That is a huge plus for having a hammock this large, this wide, this long, 11 feet long, it can fit anyone up to 400 pounds, just almost anybody can lay inside of this hammock. This does not include a rain fly, so you need to use your own. Go Outfitters does have some really cool designs when it comes to the rain flies. Check those out, very, very cool. The cinch system is probably my favorite hammock suspension system out there. It's so incredibly easy. Just wrap, pull, tug, you're done. It really is that simple. Now let's talk about the pros and cons, and let's start with cons first, because that's a short list. Heavy, very heavy. This is a heavy hammock. This is not ultra light by any means. Next up is the stuff sack for the hammock itself. Yes, it's attached to the system and that's fine. My issue with the stuff sack is that it's a little bit small. You really have to roll everything up very, very tightly or really cram it in there very, very tightly to get everything to fit. It fits, but just barely, very, very tight. As far as cons go, that's pretty much it. Let's move to the pros and there's a lot of them. First off, the cinch system, the suspension system, thumbs up, I really, really like it. The straps are incredibly strong, they're incredibly long, which really makes setting up nice and easy. So you can have trees that are close or trees that are really far apart, 15 feet each. That's impressive. The ease of use with the cinch system is off the charts. I mean, it really is as simple as just wrapping it around a tree, connecting it to your hammock and pulling it tight. It's that simple. It really does work well. The fit and finish on this product really is impressive. Very, very good quality. 70D nylon, very strong. I have slept out with this hammock all summer long, and I've had no issues with mosquitoes biting through the material. That is a huge plus. Excellent quality zippers. Very, very smooth. Easy to run it all the way down to open it up. Easy to run it all the way back down to close it. Very, very nice. The ridge line here is integrated, and I like that. It really does make everything nice and easy. It's the perfect amount of tension. A natural characteristic of the hammock itself is that it's very breathable. As you're laying in this, you have the wind kind of going around you. It can cool you off, which is a good thing and a bad thing, but the material is breathable. It also works to pull away moisture, wick away moisture. That's a plus as well, especially on those hot nights where you might be sweating, especially if you have the bug mesh all closed up. This does retain some heat and that is true with any tent, any hammock that has bug mesh. Without a doubt, the most comfortable hammock that I own. And I own many hammocks, including those from Hennessy and so on. The next pro is price. At $100 for just the hammock itself, it's a very good price for what you are getting. The quality is there. The craftsmanship is there. You can tell it's a really well thought out product. So compared to other hammocks on the market, 
this is still cheaper than many of them out there. This one is so large though. I mean, it's just incredibly comfortable, probably the most comfortable hammock I've ever slept in. It really is a great product in my book. So with that being said, my friends, that pretty much wraps up my review. I think it's time to kick back. It's time to relax here in the hammock. Gosh, I tell you what, I wish I could really do that. <laughs> fall is coming, so I'm doing a whole bunch of fall work here on Lone Wolf Mountain, including doing the last mowing up here. And that takes a couple of weeks to do. There's so many trails in the property. Anyways, my friends, that pretty much wraps this up. For the Go Outfitters Go Camping Hammock, it's a win in my book. I really do like this hammock. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know. Until next time, take care, be well, strengthen armor.